Ask Reddit by Blastwin. Never argue with an idiot. They will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. What's your best real life example of this? When I tell people to just reboot your computer and it will fix all their problems and yet they won't because they said if you wait long enough it will shut down. When in reality it only goes to sleep. Then when I tell them they have to completely shut it down they look at me like I'm an idiot and say they did. I tell them it seems like it but it only went to sleep. They argue back. Just tell them the issue is caused by a build up of static in their desktop's power cord. And they need to unplug it and whack it against the ground to discharge all the static. Doesn't help with laptops obviously. This was best said. Never wrestle with pigs. You both get dirty and the pig likes it. George Bernard Shaw. There's also the playing chess with a pigeon version. Arguing is pointless if you do not agree on a set of facts. This very relevant in philosophy and maths, but worryingly often becoming the problem in real life. Removed. This is one of the things that drives me crazy in today's world. So many people think that they win an argument when the other person goes silent. I actually just had this discussion last week with someone at work. He was telling me about a win that he had arguing with someone online because after 50 comments, they disappears. My take is that you win an argument by having the other side agree that your point seems more valid than their original position. Just frustrating someone with your immobility isn't a win in my book. A toddler can do that. You win an argument by changing someone else's views. Had an employee sign a NDA about an upcoming art installation that had investors. He told everyone. He argued with me the NDA only meant he couldn't disclose anything with the people in the company. Former employee, I hope. Was arguing with this dude about something math related he didn't know how to read a study which involved statistics claimed he was in multiple AP math classes tried saying that I probably don't even know basic integration gave me a common integration problem he wrote it but forgot the minus sign. Making it unsolvable I pointed it out and he edited the comment to make it correct told him that some people can see when you edit comments he claimed that he just capitalized a letter on and on and on. Deleted. I'm showing my age here but I used to work for an estate agency, and we had sales offices set up at the site of large new housing developments. Our primary method of communication was fax. One of the sales associates telephoned our office to say that the fax machine had run out of paper. No problem, I said, one of the guys is coming your way later for a house tour, I'll give him a box of paper to give to you. We then had an almost 20 minute long argument when they kept insisting no, you just send me a blank fax because I need the paper, it will just come out of my fax machine. It was like trying to nail jelly to a tree. Difficult, irritating, and it achieved nothing. Anytime I've tried to explain marginal tax rates to an employee. That urban legend absolutely needs to die. So many people completely fuck themselves over for absolutely no reason because they heard someone else repeating it. Sometimes it can indeed work that way if you're on benefits or food stamps or similar, but taxes? No. Just no. Whoever came up with that lie has done a lot to keep the rich rich and the poor poor, at least a little bit. Convincing poorer and middle class people that the government will screw them over if they get paid more and that the boss is helping them out by paying them less, ugh. And people are still falling for it to this day. Social media debates. You won't convince someone they're wrong, you're screaming at a brick wall. Yeah, my first response was going to be Reddit or Facebook. It's truly insane how many people will keep going at you assuming fuck all when it's not something you actually said. People have the chance to read back what someone actually said, yet they don't and fuel their hatred for you on their worst assumption of what you said. I swear 90% of my down votes are exactly that. However, I did have some very nice, civil, respectful discussions on Reddit, so not all hope is lost. Deleted. 
You know, you're right, what was I thinking? Anyways, I'll see you at work tomorrow. I had a friend in university who was a world class high school debater. Over meals, she liked to pick a ridiculous proposition and then talk circles around people until they had to concede to her point, no matter how absurd. When she tried it with me, I just stonewalled her. Met every point with a solid I don't think that's true, or that doesn't make sense, eventually she gave up and never tried it with me again. It was the only time I've ever used the tactics of the stupid to win an argument. But, to be fair, if you're not arguing with me in good faith, I feel no obligation to respond in good faith. Not my story but once my friend, friend A, was having a friendly, turn sour, debate with another friend, friend B, about how sometimes people just don't have a choice, in the context of, they can't just choose to live a frivolous life because of their family background etc. Friend A proceeds to say, what about starving children born in Africa, it's not like they had a choice, to which friend B answered, WHO asked them to be born in Africa? Just don't be born there. That's when we knew colon. I'm glad I decided to be born in a first world country. Removed. It must be so tiring, being her. People who tell me they feel like something is or isn't illegal, when I know they're wrong but insist they know what they are talking about. For the record, I'm not a lawyer yet, but I'm about to start my final year of law school, and my undergrad is in legal studies. In one particular instance, I took a very specialized course that taught drone law. The person I was this with kept telling me I was wrong because they felt like. Edited for clarity. Just wait till you have your bar license. I get called an idiot by redditors all the time for explaining things that are literally in my practice area. Like I am literally a legal expert on these things but sure, tell me I'm a basement dwelling dweeb who can't read. I asked a representative from the friend of the court to explain something she said and she told me that I understood what she was saying. I replied that I wouldn't have asked her to explain if I had understood. She said if I was going to be difficult, she would hold me in contempt. My ex chimed in that she didn't quite understand what she had said and was greeted with a smile and an explanation. From that point on I always disagreed with the friend of the court on everything, so that I could be seen by the actual court and a judge. I had a co-worker for a few years. I tried and tried to give him advice on doing a job that I had been doing for years. He repeatedly told me he didn't appreciate my advice, that he had won awards in his past job and to stay in my lane. Finally we did a project together and he admitted that I really did know what I was talking about and he actually thanked me. But he continued to gaslight people and be a narcissist. I had the same discussion with someone at my job whom had been there for 2 weeks versus my 5 years at the time. I finally conceded by saying, maybe you're right. You've already been here for 2 weeks now, I've only been here for 5 years. You got to know more than I do by now. My brother-in-law loves to have debates where he just wants to hear himself talk to make himself feel smarter. His arguments include I haven't heard of that before. So it must not be true and pulling argument points from YouTube videos on the topic because he doesn't read. Why would I when I can get the info faster from a video? He sprays paint as his career and has never been to college but took calculus in high school and that is his proof he is smarter than everyone else. When it is brought up all he says is oh yeah, I remember calculus, it is as easy, what is it about? You know. Calculus. Easy stuff. I stopped engaging him on his debates when he just claimed everything was a government job and everything was fake news, didn't see it on YouTube. Deleted. Trying to get an old person to understand new technology when they have already decided against using it. My grandmother refused to use the stacking washer dryer in her retirement apartment because it was too complicated, same buttons as the one at her previous home just in a slightly different place. I have a co-worker who pretends he doesn't know how to use a mouse. 
I straight up told him that he's just decided he can't use it, but I know that he can. He was quiet after that. My mom complaining how my generation wouldn't know how to do anything if it wasn't posted on the internet. I simply responded, well, what else is that generation supposed to do when the generation that raised them didn't teach them how to do anything? Keep in mind this while I'm moving files from her old Windows 8 laptop to her new Windows 10 for her via flash drive. She can't figure it out because Windows 10 is totally different obviously, it's not. Also older people's houses are full of books about stuff. How to use your outer, plumbing for dummies. You are not born knowing how to do everything. The internet, for all its flaws, is really good for learning one-off skills for free. When I was a child a teacher argued with me about how my name is pronounced. Some sports guy had a first name that was spelled the same as my surname, and I guess that was the only acceptable pronunciation regardless of what little 10 year old me tried to tell her. When I was in high school I was super into making constructed languages. I spent a lot of time working on them, though I never finished any. One day I went to school, and I showed a friend the writing system I had been working on, which used a system where every possible consonant vowel pairing had its own symbol, which mind you, is a fairly common way of writing that's used across the world, Japanese, lots of languages in the Indian subcontinent, etc. Dart. This guy said this kind of writing system was too confusing and I should use something else. So I told him what I just told y'all. That this style of writing is common across the world, and gave the India example. He tells me that apparently the writing systems used in the Indian subcontinent is the reason it's so terrible and why everyone there is quote shitting in the streets unquote. I was baffled. I gave the Japan example, and he told me that apparently the only reason Japan is where it is now is because of American occupants in the 20th century. I was honestly so baffled at his racism I couldn't even say anything else, so I did the smartest thing and dropped the conversation. Okay this'll get buried, but it was and still is hilarious to me. Why back in the day I was a bill collector for travel trailers and mobile homes. This woman had promised to mail her check for the payment, and lo and behold it doesn't appear. So I call her. And reference back to our prior conversation I say you promised you'd mail this to me, and it never arrived, this wasn't particularly contentious. It more along the lines of I thought we had an agreement and now I'm disappointed. So this woman, who was probably 30, really dumb and kinda country says to me I did mail it. But the post office figured out that I didn't have enough money and sent it back to me so it wouldn't bounce. My sarcastic reply, I don't understand how that could happen. She responds, completely sincere I don't understand it either. Literally wordless after that one. Deleted. Flat earthers. This is the best answer. They used science to try and prove it's flat but the math came back as curved and they still didn't believe it. Arguing with a flat earther when they've watched 100s of videos about it and you're not a physicist or geologist. Trust me, being a geologist doesn't help either. I grew up Jewish in Oklahoma. I ran into this a lot. Had a classmate in middle school try to convince me that Christianity predates Judaism. I told him, but Jesus was Jewish. His response, exactly. No irony. Totally genuine. Conversation over. I work at a club where the bouncer gives you a card when you enter. The card has multiple lines with squares on it, each one being a different drink, vodka, gin, tequila, etc, and the barman just make an X on the drinks you order. All mixes are free except Red Bull. At the top of the card there's a line that reads Red Bull Mix. It's also the cheapest thing on the card. I've had a customer order a Red Bull mix and literally argue with me for about 10 minutes demanding that I serve it while I calmly explain to them that line is only a mixer and they actually have to order something else. They eventually asked for a manager that just told me to market and serve them a shot of Red Bull. 
the look on the customer was priceless. They were as pleased they won the argument as they were disappointed paying to 50 euros for a sip of Red Bull. Deleted. Presidential debates last few years. I mean this goes back to 1960 when Kennedy won the debate against Nixon because he looked more handsome on TV. A driver fell asleep at the wheel for a brief moment. The passenger noticed the car drift into the oncoming lane and exclaimed Jesus Christ in fear. The driver woke up and turned the car back to their lane. It was impossible to have the passenger, and their whole family, admit this was not evidence that Jesus himself saved them. I was exhausted by the end of that conversation. I'm exhausted just thinking about dealing with those people. Me and the person who replies to this comment will demonstrate this for you live. Penis. There are cat litter boxes in schools for people that identify as cats. One Google search will show that is not true. I am open to changing my mind if there is evidence others will not research to see if is true. John Oliver talked about this I Ike. There was one school that had kitty litter and it was there because they had so many school shootings that their classrooms were prepped for lockdown. Not really an argument but my neighbor commented on my perfect parking job the other day and I let him know that I wouldn't have to park perfectly just to have a spot since his parking job is always fucked up. He then started parking worse so I didn't have a spot at all. In the end though it gave me the motivation to start riding my bike to work. I haven't been forced to park in the street for almost two weeks because I just haven't moved my car at all. He's been parking much better since it's his spot that he can't fit his car in. Commenting true references on Reddit and getting downvoted into oblivion. My 80 plus year old father arguing that they were putting blood clots in covid vaccines. Why? I don't know but there was a panel of 6 scientists that said so. What panel and where? Never mind it'll google it, yeah nothing. Here's the report on the blood clots, 2 women on birth control from a minuscule test base. The percent is less than 0.01%. Where did you get that information? CDC.com Oh well there's the problem. I threw up my hands and walked away. There's literally zero response to something that stupid. Arguing with almost anyone online. I find it absolutely hard to lead an argument through just writing back and forth. You couldn't possibly explain your point enough for the other side to understand. So they give you only their point of view based on what you wrote and how they interpreted it. Never argue with stupid, never reason with crazy. Anyone who won't let you have a conversation. If you can't converse or argue without raising your voice and talking over the other person, GG I guess, I'm just not gonna deal with you. Guy I used to know was like this, we argued for ages once in a big group about freedom of speech, should everyone have the right to say everything they want? Can freedom of speech be suppressed in the right circumstances? That sort of thing. It went round and round, I got tired so I said the arguing is over let's do something decent with our time, and he said. So I've won then? So fucking moronic, I replied, no, how have you won? Everyone in this room still thinks you're wrong, your arguments are all shit, let's move on. He was not happy with us after that lol. Had a co-worker whose go-to argument was to point out you weren't a professional in the subject. Argument about the law? Yeah, well you're not a lawyer. About science? You're not a scientist. Never mind that they weren't these things either, because someone, by which he actually meant himself and no one else, doesn't have to do something professionally to know about it. Even if you did have professional knowledge, then you simply didn't have enough. Your 5 years experience working in a garage didn't mean you were knowledgeable about cars, because it wasn't 10 years experience. But his 0 years didn't prevent him from knowing more than you. Politicians and mental gymnastics. Every other thread on that happened. 
first Brexit is a classic example of this. It was always an extremely stupid idea and they managed to beat enough of the population down to make it reality. The Internet Forget complex subjects that have multiple ways of being looked at, if someone says with zero irony that the sky is red, you will never be able to make them rethink their stance. Especially if equally stupid people decide you're somehow wrong. Deleted I had a manager try to redefine the word voluntary to me. He is in his late 40s and he really tried to act like voluntary really just meant you had a choice between things, not that you had a choice to say no. Had a co-worker who was computer deficient. If anything computer related whatsoever happens, her motto was, call it. All of the systems I've ever worked with were browser URL based, and there was a new system I needed access to. I asked her for the link. And she said she couldn't give me the link because I don't have the same access as her. I accidentally laughed because I thought she was joking, then calmly explained that her roles would be tied to her account, not a link to the website. Turns out, it was a system that you needed installed on your computer. She just didn't understand the basic concept because she calls it for everything that happens. She also liked to blow compressed air into the printer to cool it off. In a group chat, a friend told us that her plans fell through so me and the two others in the chat were like okay see you soon, and she messages back no, I said my plans fell through, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, we're just like okay, the next day she's pissed all three of us didn't understand her the day before, I told her we thought you said your plans were cancelled, and she tells me like we're the assholes no, I said my plans fell through, that means that the plans fell into place. I had someone attempt to explain my epilepsy to me, I've been diagnosed with JME, a form of epilepsy, for almost 3 years now. They kept claiming that you can always feel the seizure and choose not to have it. I started off just saying no that's just not true, I can't remember mine and am not conscious, so how can I control it but they doubled down and said I choose to lose consciousness and it got to a point I knew I couldn't win and I was really tired so I just went alright then and walked off.